हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ टॉपिक uses and the environmental effect of some polyhalogen compounds from the chapter halogen derivatives now in this topic we are going to consider the polyhalogen compound such as the first one is your dichloromethane or it is also known as an methylene dichloride second one is your chloroform or trichloromethane now third one is your carbon tetrachloride or it is also called as an tetrachloromethane fourth one is your iodoform or it is also known as an triiodomethane the fifth one is the furans it is also known as an chlorofluorocarbon and the last one is dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane which is generally known as an ddt so now let us consider the first compound that is dichloromethane or methylene chloride now we will consider the uses of your dichloromethane now let us consider the first use it is a volatile colorless liquid with a sweet aroma second it is used as a solvent in many chemical reactions third it is used as an propellant in aerosols as it is a volatile and the fourth one is it is used as an degreaser and the paint remover also now let us consider the environmental effects of your dichloromethane so remember the over exposure to your dichloromethane causes dizziness dizziness is the feeling of being unbalanced it affects your sensory organs such as your ears and eyes now next one is your fatigue fatigue means tiredness next one is your nausea nausea is a stomach discomfort and the sensation of wanting to omit next one is your headache that means head pain the next then the next one is your numbness that is the loss of sensation occur after sitting or standing in a particular position or wearing a tight cloth for too long next one is a weakness now here it is a decrease in the strength in one or more muscles if it is come in contact with the eyes it can damage the cornea of the eyes now let us consider the second compound that is chloroform or trichloromethane let us consider its uses first it is a colorless liquid with a specific sweet smell second it is used as a solvent for the extraction of natural product like gums fats resins third it is used to prepare a chlorofluoromethane a refrigerant r22 and fourth it is used as an a source of dichlorocarbene now let us consider the environmental effects of chloroform or it is also known as an trichloromethane so the first it causes the depression of the central nervous system second inhaling it for a short time causes a fatigue dizziness and a headache third long exposure may affect the liver fourth when it exposed to air and light it forms a poisonous compound that is phosgene gas cocl2 so it is stored in a dark colored air tight bottles now let us consider the third compound carbon tetrachloride or tetrachloromethane ccl4 now let us consider their uses so the first use it is a colorless liquid with a sweet smell second it is used as a solvent for oil fat and resins third it serves as an a source of chlorine fourth it is used as an a cleaning agent now let us consider the environmental effect of your carbon tetrachloride or the tetrachloromethane that is ccl4 so the first it affect the central nervous system when it exposed to the high concentration second 
it is suspected to be the carcinogenic that means a cancer causing third the prolonged exposure may cause the death of the, the individual fourth it is a greenhouse gas now let's consider the fourth compound that is iodoform or the triiodomethyl and its uses so first it is a yellow crystalline substance with disagreeable smell second it is used as a medicine as a healing agent and antiseptic in the dressing of wounds third on a small scale it is used as an disinfectant now let us consider the environmental effect of your iodoform or the triiodomethyl over exposure to this cause so first is the dizziness dizziness is the feeling of being unbalanced it affects the sensory organs next nausea this a stomach discomfort and a sensation of wanting to omit third the breathing difficulties or it is also called as respiratory irritation now next that is the irritation to the skin and eyes next depression in nervous system then next the visual disturbance now let us consider the uses of our fifth compound that is ferons or it generally it is known as an chlorofluorocarbons so the first it is a compound of chlorine fluorine that is your chlorofluorocarbons second it is used as an refrigerant in a fridge and a air conditioning third it is used as an propellant in aerosol and solvent fourth it is used as an blowing agent in making of foams and packing material commonly used ferons are dichlorofluoromethane that is r12 c cl2 f2 then next chlorodifluoromethane that is r22 ch cl f2 then next trichlorofluoromethane that is r11 c cl3 f now let us consider the environmental effect of the ferons so the first chlorofluorocarbon is responsible for the ozone depletion second a regular and the excessive inhalation of the ferons results in breathing problems organ damage and the loss of consciousness now let us know how does the fluorochlorocarbon destroy the ozone layer in the atmosphere so remember when a ultraviolet radiation strike the fluorochlorocarbon molecules in the upper atmosphere the carbon chlorine bond breaks and produces a highly reactive chlorine atom as you can see in the reaction mode so here one chlorine atom gets set free now this reactive chlorine atom decomposes the ozone molecule into the oxygen molecule so you can observe it in the reaction one there is a formation of oxygen plus your chlorooxide compounds are formed now that chlorooxide compound react with the oxygen atom and gives the oxygen molecule and it again set free a one chlorine atom so here one atom of a chlorine can destroy up to the 1 lakh of ozone molecules now let us consider the uses of the last compound that is your dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane which is generally known as an ddt so it is a colorless tasteless and the odorless crystalline compound ddt was discovered by the paul muller in 1948 who received a nobel prize for this discovery next it kills the insect such as house flies and mosquitoes it is used to control the malaria and the typhoid now let us consider the environmental effect of ddt so over exposure to this cause omitting then next tremors tremors is an involuntary rhythmic muscle contraction leading to the shaking movement in a one or a more part of the body then next shakiness a small uncontrollable movement caused by someone being weak ill or nervous next adverse effect on liver and the reproductive system next it is absorbed by skin when dissolved in oil or liquid next it is readily absorbed in soil accumulate in the ecosystem and last there is a ban on the use of ddt due to all these adverse effect thank you so much for watching